Hi, my name is Ravi Kumar, uh, student professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, Bangalore. So now, uh, now I am I am here to explain about uh, hexagonal pyramid problems. Okay, how the problems are and how to identify locus and without locus in hexagonal pyramids. Okay. See, first problem. I uh, yeah, I'll take up first problem. It's a hexagonal pyramid, twenty five mm sides and sixty fifty mm axis length. Rest on HP and one of its edge. Yeah, it's a, now it is a edge condition problem. So first step is you have to draw edge condition hexagonal pyramid of the base which is inclined to VP. Yeah, VP at thirty degree. So means it's a edge is inclined to VP at thirty degree. Please remember. So we have solved already previous two problems. Pyramid square pyramid also there is a edge is inclined. Pentagon also there is a edge is inclined. So similar way this also. So draw the projection when axis is inclined to HP at forty five degree. Yeah. See first condition is edge on HP. Yeah, so this is your uh, yeah, if uh, the hexagonal pyramid. If you looking from top of an object, this hexagonal is look like okay, and all diagonal lines are visible. All diagonal lines are visible, and then uh, see this is a top view of an object. Okay, so this is top view. Next, you have to draw projection line upward. See projection line. Then you have to take height is fifty. Okay, then you have to join. Okay, so then do the naming. See, yeah, the naming is very very simple as similar to previous problems. See, D is visible, C is invisible. That's it. Okay, so E is visible, B is invisible, O is invisible, F is visible, A is invisible. That's it. So this is the naming. Okay, so this complete the first position of the problem. Okay, what is the second position? The so second position axis forty five degree to HP. So I have to take an forty five degree line. Then I have to copy the same thing and I have to place. Okay, I have to copy this thing. Then I have to place here, and the axis is inclined to HP at forty-five degree. As I said, this point should be on XY line. Okay, the, this point should be on XY line. That is a very important, and that you have to keep it in mind. Okay, next do the naming. So the naming is completed. Clear? What is the next step? Okay, so next step is very easy. So you have to draw projection line downward. See projection line downward. Then do the naming. Okay. See after that, if you're looking from top of an object, and the near very important thing is we have to identify visible and invisible edges. So all outer edges are visible. The joint is completed. What is the next? So invisible point. You have to find out invisible point. So which is invisible point? This this point is invisible means this line is invisible. Okay, joining between invisible line to visible invisible point to visible point, you have to use invisible line, hidden line. See. Red color lines indicates that invisible lines completed. This is the second position. Okay, so no difficulty, man. No, no difficulty. But the construction wise, you have to be careful. Okay, so this is completed the second position. So we look at the third position. What is the third position? See, third position as is given in the problem, forty thirty degree to VP means the edge of the base is inclined to VP at thirty degree. Edge of the base means what? See, thirty degree to VP, which is edge. So this is a resting edge. So this resting edge has the inclined to VP at 30 degree means this point should be placed it on X Y line. What you will do, Mr. Kia? Instead of it, you can take axis is inclined to VP. So that position is wrong. So that method is wrong. So here's the given edge is inclined to VP. So you have to go with edge is inclined resting edge. Please keep it in mind resting edge. Which is resting edge C and D is a resting edge because the resting edge always towards our right hand side. This is inclined to VP at thirty degree. So place completed. Then do the naming. Finished. What is the next? You have to draw. You have to draw projection line upward. Okay. You have to draw projection line upward. Then draw projection line upward. A, B, C, D, E. Finished. After that, so if you're looking from bottom of an uh, F, F is missing. Yeah. Now is F. Here. So if you're looking from bottom of an object, all bottom face is completely visible. So join bottom face with the help of Visible lines finished. Next is what O and O one. Okay, join. Okay, na next yeah. A to O visible or not visible. F to O visible or not. F to O visible or not visible. E to O visible. D to O visible. See. Finished. The next three thing is very important. See three are visible. Other three are invisible. Which are other three? B to O is invisible. Is away from the observer. C to O is invisible, is away from the observer. D to O is invisible, is away from the observer. Okay, so this completes the H condition problem. Okay, means H condition 
edge of the base is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Okay, so we'll see what is the next. Okay, yeah, next problem is you can uh, easily observe hexagonal pyramid, same problem. Okay, similar 25 mm sides of base, 50 mm axis length rest on HP and one of its edge. Previous problem is also same, one of its edge. Okay, this problem is also same, one of its edge. What is up next? Draw the projection of the pyramid when axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree and VP at 30 degree. So here, the edge of the base is not inclined to VP. Here, axis of the pyramid is inclined to VP. Here, as I said, axis is inclined to both the plane, then we call it as a locus problem. Since it's a edge condition, but axis is inclined to both the plane, so it is a edge condition. It means it's a locus, locus problem, okay? See, and here first and second position is similar to the last problem. See edge on HP, okay? All diagonal lines are visible. Next, you have to, this is a top view of an object. Next, projection line upward, okay, 50 mm. So this is a front view of an object. This is naming, okay? So this completes the first position of the problem. What is the next? 45 degree to HP. Yeah, 45 degree to HP, finished. What is the next? Do the naming, yes. Next is what? You have to draw projection line downward, finished. Okay, next is what? You have to identify which is a visible and which is a invisible edges. Okay, so visible and invisible, all outer edges are visible. See, so as done. Next, A to O is visible, F to O is visible, done. Next, which, which is an invisible point? C and D is an invisible point. So this is invisible, okay? So this is what we're going to represent in red color line. Okay, what is the next? So next is what? Next last position is, we have to go for final position is inclined to, yeah, okay. So last final position. So final position is what axis 30 degree to VP, okay. So take 30 degree line. Yeah, here it is a locus, since it is a locus problem, I have to use, this is a true length and we have to use upper end length, which is upper end length. See from the true, from the first position, you'll get true length. From the second position, you'll get upper end length. So that distance between O2, O1. O2, O1. This is a true length and this is apparent length. First, I'll take a true length, then draw locus line, okay? Then take a apparent length from the same, from the same point, okay? Cut an arc on locus line, okay? So done. Next, then draw, extend this line up to XY line, then find out the beta. Finished. Okay, what is the next? You take O2, O1 and you place it on the inclination with VP. So place, done, okay? Then do the naming finished. What is the next step? You have to draw projection line upward. So draw projection line upward A, A, B, C, D, E, F. Finished. Next. If you're looking from bottom of an object, the bottom face of the square pyramid is visible. So join with the help of visible line. Finished. Next. O, O1. Okay. Next. Now find out which are visible and which are invisible edges. Okay. Yeah, A to O is visible. If you're looking from bottom of an object, A to O is visible, yes, visible. F to O is visible, yes. E to O is visible, yes. Which are the invisible? B is away from the observer. C is away from the observer. D is away from the observer. So see here, okay? So these four edges are visible and other two, B and C is invisible edges. That's it, okay? That's it, this is the problem. Okay, we'll see what is the next problem in hexagonal pyramid. Okay, so this is called, this complete the uh, locus method and this complete the second problem of the hexagonal pyramid. See, so next problem, yeah, next problem, third one. So here you can observe hexagonal pyramid, 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rest on HP and one of its corner. So previous problem we have done, one of its edge, so corner, yes. That two edge of two edges containing the corner on which it rests makes an equal inclination with HP. Draw projection of the pyramid when axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be VP at 45 degree. You have to understand the world up here is present. It understood that it is a feet out locus problem, but axis of the pyramid is inclined to VP at 45 degree. Okay, we'll see first position corner. So corner, yeah, it is a corner position. So all the, you know, diagonal lines are visible. So giant all the diagonals are visible, clear? Yeah, this is a O2O1, okay? And which is a, a resting edge? See, this D is a resting, 
resting corner towards right hand side okay please remember so next draw projection line upward finished okay take height is 50 join finished then do the naming finished okay the naming is similar to previous problems so as if looking from bottom of an object b is visible c is visible e and f are both are invisible that's it second position so this complete the first position what is the second position axis 40 degree to hp 40 degree to hp axis is inclined the head is in on xy line okay this point is on xy line yes do the naming finished drop section line downward okay what is the next all outer edges are visible finished all outer edges are visible which one is invisible this d is invisible point and before that f and b are visible so join f and b. next is d to o is visible so this d is invisible point just d is invisible so red line indicates that invisible line again d to o is again it is a invisible because d is a invisible point o is a visible point so joining between invisible to visible you have to use invisible line next 45 degree to vp appear word without locus please remember next this axis is inclined to vp yes finished next draw projection line upward okay finished out oh, after that if you're looking from bottom of an object the bottom face is completely visible so completely visible next okay which are the invisible f f a b are visible no sorry a b c are visible f e d are invisible finished means f o is away from the observer e to o away from the observer and d to o is away from the observer only a b c are visible means nearer the observer this completes the third problem it is a without locus problem means because appear word is present in the problem if appear word is present in the problem it understood that it is a without locus so we will see what is the next problem yeah so next problem see similar okay same problem but appear word is not there in the problem you can observe 25 mm sides of base 50 mm axis length rest on hp and one of its corner of the base such that two base heads containing the corner on which it rests makes equal inclination with hp draw projection of the pyramid when axis of the pyramid is inclined to hp at 40 degree and vp at 30 degree so very simple appear what is not there understood that it's a locus problem you have to find out beta inclination first and second position is same similar to previous problems only third pro third position is different okay see corner corner on hp yes corner position all diagonal lines are visible yes finished diagonal lines are visible next you have to draw projection line upward okay see all projection line upward next from the center you have to take 50 mm height 50 mm height okay next you have to join all the corner points okay so you'll get the triangle clear do the naming naming is finished so this complete the first position of the problem okay what is the second position yeah axis 40 degree to hp same inclination line 40 degree inclination line then you place rotate and place rotate and placed so this point is on xy line okay so draw projection line downward which is an invisible point d is an invisible point or uh, there are visible okay finished this red color indicates that what it is a it is a invisible lines finished okay this complete the second position of the problem what is the third third is axis 30 degree to vp means you have to find out beta inclination so true length apparent length this is true length this is apparent length take true length draw arc and draw locus line then take the apparent length see so this is apparent length then from this point you cut an arc okay next extend up to xy line you'll get the beta inclination so if the beta inclination you got this is a apparent you know inclination with sorry it is a when the locus is done so this beta you have to find out okay so this beta you have to find out next you take axis then place it here placed okay okay clear then the naming is done what is the next drop projection line upward okay yeah finish if you're looking from bottom of an object this all six edges are visible so all six edges are visible clear what is the next so you have to draw o to o 
नेक्स्ट विच आर इन विजिबल एंड विजिबल यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट डी थ्री आर विजिबल मीन्स ए बी सी आर विजिबल डी ई एफ आर इन विजिबल सी दीज आर द विजिबल विच आर द इन विजिबल पॉइंट्स विच आर द इन विजिबल पॉइंट्स सी डी इज अवे फ्रॉम दी ऑब्जर्वर ई इज अवे फ्रॉम दी ऑब्जर्वर एफ इज अवे फ्रॉम दी ऑब्जर्वर सो इफ अवे फ्रॉम दी ऑब्जर्वर आर देयर मीन्स इट इज कॉल्ड एस इट डीज आर कॉल्ड एस अ इन विजिबल एजेस मीन्स डी टू वो इज इन विजिबल ई टू वो इज इन विजिबल एफ टू वो इज इन विजिबल सी डन सो वॉट इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन द एक्सागनल सो यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट लोकस और विदाउट लोकस हाउ यू गोइंट टू फाइंड आउट इफ एक्सेस इज इंक्लाइन टू बो द प्लेन इंक्लाइन टू एच पी एंड इंक्लाइन टू वी पी इट इज अ लोकस वेदर इट मे बी एच कंडीशन और इट मे बी ए कार्नर कंडीशन डजेंट मैटर बट इफ एक्सेस इज इंक्लाइन टू बो द प्लेन मीन्स इट इज लोकस प्रॉब्लम इफ द वर्ड अपियर प्रेजेंट इन द प्रॉब्लम इट अंडरस्टूड दट इट इज अ इन विजिबल ओके वॉट इज द लास्ट एंड फोर मोस्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग edge of the base is inclined to vp if edge of the base is inclined to vp so before doing the problem please underline that then start doing okay because you have to keep it in mind if edge is given you have to place only edge instead of that you are going to place axis if you place axis third position is completely wrong okay